What is going on everyone? I hope you are having a great day so far. Today I have something special right here. I have the new iPhone X. Uh, I need help with this. Seva, come in. Hey, what's up guys? Today we got iPhone X called 10. We're gonna have a look how it looks like. Um, everyone is fascinated about this phone. I don't know why to be honest. <laughs> yeah. It's bloody expensive as hell. Why? This one, how much is Thousand pounds. Thousand pounds. Um, basic version, 64 gigabytes, 256. It's another 150 pound more. Ah, that's a bit painful. That, that's too painful for me, man. That's... But we can have a look. Phone Think looks, about what. Phone looks quite nice. Um, it's got a nice big screen. Um, it's glass at the back. Stainless steel around here, but usually you'll be able to scratch it very easily. And it being an iPhone, it will probably break anyway in like a month. <laughs> yeah, they say it's the most durable iPhone ever, but... Uh, Let's see I'll after a month. It. Let's make up this video after a month, see how iPhones do. <laughs> probably yeah. so many broken I would, I would compare the phone to the uh, Samsung S8. I've got S8 Plus here as well. I mean, obviously S8 Plus is bigger, but also the bigger screen. To me, I think the main thing I am missing personally in the new iPhone is the home button. It's kind of weird, you know, just to go up and stuff. It it's not, yeah. doesn't feel like an iPhone anymore. It's no, like no. iPhone had that middle button. It's so nice. The fingerprint. The fingerprint's kind of that's that's something. Yeah, the touch ID. There's no touch ID. How you know? At least if they could put it at the back because Face ID, you know, that would look weird. Like you trying to unlock your phone somewhere. You know, you're going to Costa getting the coffee and he's like, oh, give me a second, I have to unlock my phone. No, and it looks like you're that. filming everyone. Yeah, the camera is quite nice, it does, takes nice pictures, the portrait mode and everything, 60 frames per second on 4K. Basically, it's really, really nice camera. I would say it's better than the Samsung S8 Plus on the back. The back camera here is quite good, but the dual lens does her job and it's um, also got dual lens, a telephoto lens. So. Overall, phone looks like it, it looks different. It looks better. Um, so finally, iPhone has you know Apple done something better. But inside is exactly the same like S8 Plus. So not big difference. Uh, obviously, there is a very powerful processor. Very very powerful. I think it's winning on the, any benchmark at the moment. But can you see the difference? Like when you once you're using it, I don't know. I don't think so. You can you can see the big difference. So portrait. That's, uh, let me see if I can try it. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, we took a picture. And what we can do with it, let's come back. I look quite bad, didn't it? So we can do, change the colors, stage. So this, that's, that's I think that's a pretty that. cool one because it kind of makes it look like a photo shoot kind of thing, you know? Yeah, it's just a look, it picked up this on the top. Some. So it's quite nice mode, but not always working mm. perfectly. So this is kind of nice. That's what I like about the phone. <laughs> but it look inside it looks exactly the same as like six. Why would you spend that much money just for the screen? I would still go for Samsung to be honest. Samsung got much more, you can do much more. Still, what is good, you can do wireless charging, but unfortunately not fast charging. You can do fast charging, but if you buy separately adapter to it, so you still have to Well what type of doing, just you know, giving you the option but then you have to spend the money. Yeah. Yeah, they oh yeah, definitely. They want only just put your money, 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 and then thousand pound is ridiculous price for this phone. Definitely, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, maybe when iPhone 11 or I don't know 12 will come out, then you can buy this phone when it gets cheaper. But for the moment, too expensive. Too expensive, definitely too expensive. Well, wasn't it waterproof? Yeah, it's got IP67, not IP68. So like previous versions, uh, one meter uh, for like 30 minutes. Let me have a look. Oh, you can't use it under the water, that's for sure. What was the phone you could use under water, though? Oh, I think it's something you can still use under the water. It's not bad. It's not dying. Obviously, a splash of water should be fine. Yeah. I don't think anyone will go like proper swimming with that. But it's a good one. And you said it's uh, shockproof? Yeah. Should be. It's quite yeah. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> should I drop it? <laughs> Let's try. You know, you're doing your flips. You know, you don't pay attention and... Oh! Oh my days, phone is dropped. Still can use it? Of course, uh, nothing happened, man. It's just a drop. So... But then again, it's a carpet, so... I don't know, man. 
overall, I don't think I will be buying one or getting one even if it's if I can get one for cheaper, but still, I'll go for Samsung. That's my personal opinion. It's, it's a good phone, of course, but not my thing. I think we're gonna say a bit more once we proper test the phone. We've got a phone since yesterday, so um, couldn't check too much, but definitely I think we could do some proper review on the phone. Mm, we're gonna use it for like a week or two. Yeah, first, first impressions looks quite nice. The glass at the back looks quite nice. The stainless steel around looks also nice, but I know that will be really, really easy to scratch it. But man, everyone, like literally everyone will get cases for them, so... Yeah, and uh, the screen looks really nice. I mean, it looks nice. I still don't like those bezels around. Um, on, on, on Samsung, there is no bezels on, on the... They've got a bit of bezel on the top and on the bottom, but on the side there is nothing, but in here, as you can see. But still look quite nice. We're gonna play with the phone a bit more and then we do We're gonna try to take, take some pictures with it and put them as well, see how they do. Also, we, we have received the, uh, give me a second, new V30 LG phone. So we're also gonna talk about this phone and soon we're gonna check it out. We just received it today, so let's hope. It might be quite nice phone as well. But I heard it's a bit expensive though, so... 800 pounds, 790 And when you look at that, it's LG, 800 pounds, then there's yeah. iPhone, 1,200 pounds more, and you get so iPhone, you know. Whichever we can do comparison between all those phones, and we'll see. So, I will see you soon. So that was our first video about tech reviews. I think we, we might start doing some tech reviews in channel. We'll see how the videos do, basically. Yeah. Because we have the opportunity to do them you know we have our way of getting these so, so might as well yeah so let's see definitely not recommendable if you don't have money if you have a lot of spare money then why not you know if you like new technology this one we'll see in the next few days my opinion i would stay with samsung sorry <laughs>